A man has died after police say he was stabbed by another man early this morning near the intersection of Beaver and Noonan Streets. We're told the confrontation started with an argument over property. Channel 4's Elizabeth Campbell has been speaking with people who say the violence downtown is out of hand. Do you typically feel safe in this area? Um, overall, no. It's a lot of prostitution, drugs, crimes. Sarah Carver says she finds herself wanting to avoid the downtown area more so these days. She sadly wasn't surprised when she learned a man was stabbed in the chest this morning near this intersection. He later died at the hospital during surgery. It's the reason I really don't step out. I come downtown to handle business and go back home. I use JSO's crime mapping tool to see just how bad crime has been in the area recently. This red dot right here represents where the stabbing happened this morning. And within a one mile radius of that location, in the past month, there have been 57 incidents, including 21 assaults, 16 thefts, five robberies and four vehicle break-ins. The man who investigators believe did the stabbing was arrested after a brief police chase. Detectives say the two men were reported to be fighting about a block away over some piece of property before the stabbing. We're waiting to learn the names of the two. In the meantime, Carver says she's hoping to see more of a police presence in the area. Being I don't have a, a vehicle, I have to go to the bus terminal, which is right here. But, um, I mean, really, it's just... A, it's just crazy nowadays. Elizabeth Campbell, Channel 4, the local station. Well, if you're curious about what crime is like in your neighborhood, we've put a link inside this story to the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office crime mapping tool. Just head to our news4jax.com homepage.